Hazelbrook Middle School in Tualatin was evacuated this morning after somebody emailed a bomb threat. Well, luckily, nothing was found, but it did shut down the school for the rest of the day. Fox 12's Connor McCarthy has been following this all day long and explains why school leaders believe that threat is part of a bigger issue. Well, around 11 this morning, students were evacuated and buses took students away from campus. Now, the superintendent says that she does not know who sent this email, but she does believe that it does have a connection to a viral video going around on social media that shows an assault on campus. A bomb threat at a local middle school Friday morning forced students to evacuate and put a school district on high alert. We have been fielding multiple threats on social media, uh, email and voicemail uh, for the last couple of days. Um, and uh, so the threat today, however, uh, was specific. Um, in terms of time and place. Sue Riki Smith is the superintendent of the Tiger Tualatin School District. Around mid morning, she says Hazelbrook Middle School received an email that contained a credible bomb threat to the campus. The district made the decision to end the school day and evacuate students so law enforcement could investigate. I'm a woman of faith, as is my husband, um, a man of faith, uh, and we believe that, you know, the good Lord has us in the palm of his hands. Um, so this is really righteous anger about keeping us from doing what we do very well in this district, which is serving kids. Ricky Smith says this threat and others made towards the district over recent days was connected to a viral video on social media. In it, you see a student pull another student to the ground. The student on the ground appears to be repeatedly punched in the face and their hair is pulled. These are minors, not only the originator and the victim, but children who are in the hall. And all of their identities have been compromised and in no permission was given and get we seem to think that in this age of social media, we can take those videos and we can post them wherever and have no sense of responsibility to the impacts on those children. Ricky Smith says the viral video is part of a larger nationwide social media trend among teenagers. Go ahead and videotape um, a threat or, an, or, or a fight so that you can get lots of likes. And that's exactly what they did. Students knew that this was going to go down for that reason and did not report it. When our students do report it, we always be react immediately to it. For many school districts, behavioral health issues are front and center in conversation. Ricky Smith says they're addressing mental health needs like increasing the number of social workers on staff. She doesn't know if the assault at Hazelbrook Middle School and its link to a larger social media trend is a result of its mental health crisis among children. She says regardless, their main focus will be supporting the mental health of the victim. The victim in, in this situation or any situation where they're a target of hate speech or physical violence, that we also wrap um, you know, in extensive counseling support both in school and external uh, for the student. When it comes to the aggressor, the superintendent says when the assault happened, teachers stepped in and the school resource officer took that student away. Now, Tualatin police say that they are investigating this and they have referred the juvenile court system here in Washington County for potential charges. When it comes to going to back to school on Monday, the superintendent says that, that will happen if they feel the campus is secure. In Tualatin, Connor McCarthy, Fox 12, Oregon. Okay, thank you, Connor. Dwellton police have arrested and charged the youth who's allegedly responsible for the incident.